Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This one's going to be on the classic game Quake. That's a game that has issues uh, running on modern computers, so we always need some kind of, uh, you know, source port to get it running. So the one I'm going to show you today is the one that's the that easiest to use and the quickest to get running. So this one is going to be from FTEQW.org. I'm going to go ahead and put the link to that on the website so you guys can download that. Once you have it downloaded, literally go to your download folder. You're going to right click on it, extract to, do the option where it does the, the folder for you so it's already done. What I would do is go ahead and rename that or at the least put Quake in front of it. And then once you have that done, you're going to open the folder that has the original game in there. And all you're going to do is copy over the ID1 folder. You're going to paste that in the folder where you just extracted the uh, file to. And that's literally all you need to do to get this to work. You're going to go ahead and double click. It'll launch that. Uh, it does have several options on you, you know, that you can do on here. You have video options. Right now, I have it set to 1920 by 1080. Uh, like I said, you can go ahead in here, maneuver through all these kind of settings. You got here as far as the display mode. You can change that. You got the RGB on here. Gamma, brightness settings. Got the V-Sync. I always like to leave V-Sync on. There's other options here, FPS, rendering options. These are all things you can go in there and change to your preference. But I'm going to go ahead and leave those alone for now. So I'm just going to show you how it is basically with the default settings and 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick speed run here of the first level. We're going to go easy here to make it super quick. So as you can see, that ran super well. So that's going to go ahead and be the end of this video. Now I am going to make uh, more videos because this does have support for the uh, Mission 1 and Mission 2 packs for Quake 1. It'll also run Quake 2 and various other games. So I will be making different videos on this uh, source. Uh, as for now, you guys go ahead and have a good one. Uh, hit me with a thumbs up or a subscription. We'll see you guys on the next one.